Today is a rest and recovery day for me and I wanted to use that to do a kind of different episode today where I want to talk to you about what I do to stay healthy and strong as an athlete. Woodward is like, this camp has a reality distortion thing where you just get here and shit like that becomes normal because you see it every day, all the time. Good morning! It's so hot. I got you coffee. Thank you. Oh, you butterfly, look at that! Kevin, look at that thing! Kevin, look at that thing! Yeah, I've been doing parkour for 12 years as a professional athlete, living from it as a performer for, I guess, seven, eight years. So it does take a toll on your body. And right now I'm kind of in a phase of my life where I do want to stay a performer and I want to be doing great movement and want to be strong and healthy for the next 10 years of doing parkour. And I'm kind of setting myself up for that. Of course, I want to be moving until I'm really old and I want to be healthy and I don't want to have joint pain when I'm 30, 40, 50. So I'm really mindful of keeping my body strong and healthy and I'm always trying to learn. And today I want to share about some of the stuff that, some of the stuff that I've learned and that I do. I'm not a professional, I'm not a coach, I'm not a trainer or any of that. But um, this is some of the stuff that I do and that really has helped me. So sorry for all the mistakes I'm going to make. There will be plenty of them. But I'm gonna do my best to let you know what I know. Yes. Little catch and release for the morning. Off you go, fella. There he is. You're all safe now. Little moly man. You are free! What do you guys do? We save moles out of concrete pools. Let's take some photos. <laughs> BMX crew is taking over, so we're done. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you! So I want to start with the three, three things that I think about when training. One is flexibility, there's mobility, and there's strength. And I'm going to explain to you um, the difference, why all of those three are important, and how I tried to balance them. So, what is mobility? Mobility, as I understand it, is the range of motion you have in your joints. It has nothing to do with your muscles, it's all just ligaments and joints. So if you have a bad range of mobility, it means you can't lift your arm all the way up. You can't lift it to the side. And all of us have different places and different joints where we have more difficulties than others. Um, <laughs> you improve the mobility by going through the full range of motion of that joint. The range of motion is, well, how you can move the joint. The elbow moves from here to here, that's the full range of motion. And if you are limited, then you want to work on getting that range of motion back. What I do for my range of motion is <coughs> Every morning I get up, and this is part of my morning routine, and I kind of stand up, and I go th through my body from toe to head, or from head to toe, whatever works for you. So I will start and I will just move every single joint of my body. Start with my fingers, move those, start with my wrists, roll them, and this is what I mean by going through the whole range of motion, and just trying to really move them. And this movement is not a loose movement, it's a very controlled movement and you really want to feel the joint. Do the same for my shoulders, my chest, 
I just try to move everything. I pay a lot of attention to my spine, twisting it, going from here to here. My hips, my hips need a lot of attention. That's one of my weaknesses. I can go all the way down to my toes and I do some foot exercises that I talked about in a previous video as well. To everything I'm gonna talk about, I'm also gonna leave more detailed links in the description to books and articles and videos that I enjoy and that I have learned a lot from. So if you wanna dive deeper in any of these topics, go into the description. There's a ton of recommendations there for you. So that is mobility. Mobility is kind of the base for your body that you wanna be able to use your joints to your full potential. That's the very, very basis. And then the next part is flexibility. See ya. Adios. A little bit banged up from two days of training. So today we're chill. Explain what's going on. So right now we're having a freestyle contest. We've had a couple people go. They've had some good runs, and right now um, DeAndre. Up So this is how I, I, I heard somebody describe the difference between mobility and flexibility. Mobility is, from, is in your joint. So with mobility I can lift my hip all the way up to here. Flexibility is used when I try to move my straight leg. When I move, move my straight leg, I need to have flexibility in my hamstrings to get my leg to the same height. So right now I can move my leg all the way up to here and that's my hip joint moving but with a straight leg I can't because I'm lacking flexibility in the muscles. Flexibility is really important because even though you might have mobility your joint might be able to move all the way your muscles can resist that, mo that movement and from what I heard uh, I've read the book Pavel Satsulin's Guide on Stretching, uh, Relax into Stretching is the name. I've really enjoyed Juji Mufu's article on stretching on his web website, all the links again below. And the way they describe flexibility is that your body is basically, it, it's able to move all the way into splits, for example. I should be able to go all the way into splits, but because I've never, got, I never went into splits, as soon as I try it, my body gets scared, my brain gets scared, and tells my muscle, we've never went this far apart, don't do it. And my muscles cramp up, and they stop me from going any further. So what I have to do to stretch is I have to go into a position where I feel a stretch and I have to relax in that position until I can go a little bit deeper. So that's why I try to go through again my body from head to toe. I go through all the joints on different movements and I try to feel where's my body tight, where do I feel uh, I'm lacking range of motion and then I try to find out how can I stretch that muscle. I'm not going to show a ton of different stretches in this video because then we're going to be here for two hours. What I recommend for you guys is to just learn to listen to your body, really pay attention. You probably have a pretty good idea already of where you feel pain, where you're tight, when you do a cartwheel, where do you feel like your muscles are pulling and then you want to go and you want to look up what's the name of that muscle and then you want to google how do I stretch gluteus maximus, how do I stretch hip flexors and that way you work your way through your body and slowly learn how you can become more flexible. When it comes to flexibility, there's two types of flexibility. There's static flexibility, which means you're in a static position. Say in this stretch, 
what's pulling me down is my own body weight and gravity. But for sports, for athletics, static flexibility, passive flexibility also is not enough. We need dynamic flexibility, which means, for example, when we do a kick, we want to be able to lift our leg up. And for that, you need dynamic flexibility. Static flexibility is something you use or I use to build new range of motion. And once I have that range of motion, I then want to try to use it and get dynamic flexibility by moving my body into that position. And like gymnasts do like this kind of shit. They're really good at it. But you want to learn to move in that range of flexibility. So now we get to the next step, which is strength. Yeah. This is the week 10 Yo, 2017 up? parkour picture. About to do. I'm about to attempt quad front with TB though. With TB. Quad. That is four. four. That was my second quad front on trouble. <laughs> Strength. So, with your mobility and your flexibility, you kind of built a solid basis. Now you have range of motion and your body can move freely and now you want to build strength in that movement. You might be able to lift your leg up all the way to your head if somebody puts weight on it, but you want to be able to do that through your own muscle power and through your own control. This is really important because flexibility and mobility is not just important for performance, it's also important to protect yourself from injuries. If you fall, and it's easy for you to, to bend and move, that's really useful because instead of your muscle tearing, you might just get a, a stretch. And that can be the difference of being out for a month or being out for three days from training. So it's really important to have that mobility and flexibility. What can be dangerous is if you have a lot of mobility and flexibility, but no strength in that motion because then you can't protect yourself in those ranges. So that's why I try to, as soon as I have new range of motion, as soon as I feel like, oh, I can spread my legs further apart, I can do moves that I couldn't do before, I try to incorporate those in, in different moves. So that could be even just for side splits. I'm currently training to go lower like this, and that's kind of helping me to have tension in that range of motion too. Another thing I do is these kicks, for example, if I try to lift my leg from strength, I can't lift it as high as when I use swing. So I'm trying to build strength in that range of motion too. And for me, a lot of that happens just through parkour and free running and I don't pay as much attention as I maybe should to the strength because for like mobility and flexibility is my weakness at the moment. Yeah, so those are kind of the things I think about, those three aspects. I'm going to link a bunch of links below because there's a whole science and culture behind that. There's a whole community that focuses just on those aspects of training. I think it's 
really important. I wish I would have known more about it as a younger athlete because I feel like I could have progressed faster, learned faster, and I could have unfolded my potential a lot more. And I feel like it's even more important for athletes that are a little bit further on in their journey because there's a like you love to move, you love to jump, you love to perform and to enjoy your body. It's such a huge part of my life that I don't want to miss out on it when I'm older. So especially this year, last year is all about getting a healthy body and getting good range and good posture for me. So I've been focusing a lot of it and I'm really enjoying it. And I'm excited that once I have those things set, I can focus a little bit less on that. It's not about pushing my flexibility or mobility anymore. It might be more about just maintaining it and then I'm excited to see how I can push my body to do new moves and things I haven't done before. Yeah, I think that's a good roundup. If you enjoyed this episode, let me know. If you want to know more, if you have any questions, if there's anything you don't understand, please also let me know. But also please go out on a journey yourself. First step should be look at what I posted in the description if you want to learn more. So much information on specific stretches, routines, exercises you can do. Um, don't be afraid to put some money down on a book. It's so worth it, that information. Le every like 10, 20, 30, 40 dollars you invest can be really worth it. Also recommend to go to a physio and get yourself checked out and have him look at it because that is what they do for a living. Yeah, and just keep it in mind. All right, how long has this been? 12 minutes and 20 seconds. 12 minutes and 20 seconds. I think that's enough for today. See you. Hey, we made it. Turns out I was in charge of doing Instagram story for Farang today and I forgot, so. Now we have to take some extreme measures to make this Insta story happen. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> this is gonna be terrible. Are you ready? Filming. To become good at parkour, you have to understand what it's like to be the obstacle. I'm ready! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he did it! My foot would like flip that on your back, it was so sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Okay, talk your head. Stop recording. No way. Are you... Oh, I oh, found your back! <laughs> your back! <laughs> oh my god! I found your back! Wow. Go hey, Jason, how did that feel? This is <laughs> sheer pain. <laughs> you look like you're crying. <laughs> Good job, thank you. <laughs> that was so awesome. <laughs> Sunset, and I just ran out of my room because I forgot to talk about. Well, I forgot to... Um, I thought it'd also be good to tell you guys how often I stretch. I think there's two types of stretching. There's one, maintaining the flexibility that I already have. I can do that pretty much every day. It's just a light little stretch. And then there's stretching where I try to gain flexibility. So it's a harder stretch, it's a deeper stretch, it's a longer stretch. It can be like 30 seconds to a minute and I'm trying to go lower than before. And those, I can... I need like two days of rest after one of those deep stretches, maybe even three before I can go again. Um, yeah, that's it now, ciao.